Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In QuickBooks, you can enter checks directly into the QuickBooks Write Checks window. When you enter a check into this form, you can see address information and easily allocate the checks amount between multiple accounts, if necessary, at the bottom of the Write Checks window. This form also corresponds to the check entries made in the register for the selected checking account. To write checks in QuickBooks, select Banking, Write Checks from the menu bar to display the Write Checks window. Select the checking account from which the funds will be withdrawn from the Bank Account drop-down at the top of this window. Next, decide whether you will be printing this check or whether you will simply be recording a check or other electronic withdrawal transaction. If recording a check you have already written or recording an electronic withdrawal, then enter the check number that was issued into the Number field. You can enter your own code for checking withdrawal transactions that lack a code, like an ATM withdrawal, for example. Otherwise, if you intend to print this check at a later point in time, then check the Print Later checkbox that appears in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the window. Then enter the date of the check into the Date field, or select the date from the adjacent calendar drop-down. Select the name of the payee from the Pay to the Order of drop-down. The payee's name and address information will then appear in the check. Enter the amount of the check into the Dollars field. When creating checks not related to the purchase of inventory items, you assign the amount of the check to one or more accounts in your company's chart of accounts by using the Expenses tab in the lower section of the window. To do this, select the first account to which you want to attribute the check amount from the first row in the account column. QuickBooks will attribute the entire check amount to that account, as shown in the Amount column. To split the total check amount to multiple accounts, simply change the amount shown in the Amount column to indicate how much of the total check amount to attribute to the selected account. Repeat the process of selecting the next account from the Next Available Blank Row under the Account column, and entering the amount to attribute to that account into the adjacent Amount column until you have distributed the entire check amount to the appropriate accounts. After you have distributed the total check amount to the correct accounts, click either the Save and Close button to save the check and close the Write Checks window, or click the Save and New button to save the check, but leave the Write Checks window open so you can continue writing checks. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.